boys and girls? Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm great. How about you? How are you all today? Boys and girls, I hope you are having a great day. And I want to remind my morning friends, if you didn't send me your picture of yourself, your self-portrait that we worked on together at, at our Zoom, please send it to me by the end of the day today. I want to make sure that we have time to get everything done. So send me those pictures, boys and girls. I have most of yours, but a couple I still haven't received yet. Okay? How are you today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you a little bit sleepy? Today, I thought was going to be a rainy day, but it actually looks like it's going to be a little bit cloudy, but no rain. So we should have a great day, and tomorrow's going to be even better. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Cloudy Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Show me your five school days and your two home days. There are seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, and I can name them all. There's Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday is the last day, and I can name them all. Say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Today is Friday and guess what? Last night when you went to sleep, it was April. But it's not April anymore. It's a brand new month. Hmm. March? No, it's not March. Hmm. Monday? No, not Monday. Hmm. A. May. The new month is May. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Today is Friday, the month is May, and since it's, it is a brand new month, we start counting back at one. I need your help. Can you count to one? Put your hands on your shoulders and help me count all the way to one. One. That's it. Try it again. One. So easy. You can do it all by yourself. Ready, set, go. Great job! One! That's it! Great counting. Today is Friday, May 1st, 2020, and it is going to be a beautiful day outside. I hope you get some time to spend outside. This whole week, we have been talking to my friend, Miss V. Miss V is wearing a vegetable vest, and she loves to make the letter V. Miss V is making the letter V with her two fingers. Can you see them? And yesterday, many of my friends sent me pictures of V's that they were making from things at home. Nora made V's with Legos. Mason made V's with, I believe he used his cars. All the boys and girls were making V's, and they, they did a great job. Jeremy did a great job. Willa did a great job. And it was so nice to see all of your work. Today, I want you to practice writing your name. I want you to write your name three times. If you're really good at writing your first name and it doesn't take you long, maybe try to write your last name too. Write your name three times and send me a picture. And then I will send you a surprise right back. So I hope to see some of your pictures of your name written three times. And if you're really good at that first name, I want you to try your last name too. Let's get right to it and start start our alphabet. A apple a B bat b C cat k D dog d E ed e F fun f G game g H hat h I itch e J 
jug, j, k, kite, k, l, lamp, l, m, man, m, n, nut, n, o, octopus, a, p, pan, p, q, u, queen, qu, r, rat, r, s, snake, T tap T U a uh, a uh. V van v W wind w X fox x Y yellow y Z zebra z Very good. Now today we are going to read a big book. That means that it's going to be really tall, so I'm going to have to lean back to show you the whole book. This story is called The Mystery Seeds. And if you look, you can see that the hand is holding two mystery seeds. Do you have any ideas? What do you think these mystery seeds are? Hmm. What kind of plant do you think will grow from these mystery seeds? Let's read and find out. Ooh. The mystery seeds. He is holding a small shovel called a trowel that is used to plant plants. And he has a flower in his hand that he is getting ready to plant. But that's not our mystery seed, so let's find out. Look! I found some seeds in the garden. Do you know what seeds grow into? What do seeds grow into? Do seeds grow into insects? Do seeds grow into dogs? Seeds grow into plants. Can we find out? Let's plant, I know, let's plant the seeds. We'll need soil. Soil is another name for dirt. A shovel or a trowel and pot to plant the seeds into. Soil, shovel, pot, seeds. We'll give them plenty of water and light. To grow big and strong, plants need water and they need plenty of sunlight. One week later, I see some roots. Can you point to them? Now, if you really plant something in your garden or in your in a plot, pot in your house, you won't see the roots because the roots are under the dirt. So the only way to really see the roots is to either have a clear pot, which is not very no, not not very easy to find, or to pull the plant out of the dirt. And that's not really good for the plant. It likes to be in the dirt. So don't really look for the roots. Unless you're outside maybe pulling weeds, then you'll be able to see the roots really well. The roots are in the pot. They're the first thing that grow down so that they can get a nice system and get stronger and grow up even taller. Let's draw what we see. I want you to pause the video and I want you to try and draw a picture. Draw the roots of a plant. The roots are usually a brownish color because they don't see the sunlight. And draw a stem and a little circle on top for the top of the plant. Roots help the plant get water and other things from the soil. Pause our video and go draw your picture now. Try and write the word roots on your picture. R O O T S. Great job. 
two weeks later, I see two leaves. Can you point to them? Where are the two leaves? Are they down here? Are they this? No, these are the two leaves. One, two. Okay, we are going to draw another picture. Leaves help the plant make food. I want you to pause the video, get a paper, and draw the leaves on the plant. You can draw a pot, just like this person did, with the soil. Draw a stem and two leaves. Now we're going to try and write the word leaf. L E A V E S. Leaves. Great work. Look at the plant now. I see a big stem. Can you point to it? Where is the big stem? This is the soil. These are the leaves. This is the big stem. How many leaves do you see now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven leaves. Great job. Now it's your turn. The stem carries food and water through the plant. It's time to move the mystery plant to the garden. Pause the video and draw this picture. Can you draw a big stem and many leaves? Let's draw our plant. Now, let's write the word stem. S. T E M stem. I wonder what this plant can be. Do you have any guesses? Got a big stem. It seems to be very tall. Let's find out. What is it? What is the mystery plant? It's a sunflower. Have you ever planted sunflowers? We planted a sunflower in our yard and it grew so tall that it was almost as big as our shed. It was huge. These are sunflower seeds. It's a sunflower. Now the fun part. Can you draw a sunflower? Do you know what the flower does? It makes new seeds. This middle part of the flower right here is all hundreds of seeds. And when the flower dies, those seeds fall to the ground and plant new flowers. You can even pull them out as the flower dies and save them to plant. Now I'd like you to draw your own flower. You can draw a sunflower just like this, or you can choose to draw a different flower. But I want you to give it a try. And then let's write the word flower when you're done. F L O W E R Flower Great job! If you drew a flower, I'd love to see them. So send me a picture of your flower. Do you remember the parts of a plant? Now it's kind of tricky to do this here because we usually lay it on the ground, but I'm going to just hold up the pieces and I want you to tell me what part of the plant you see. So first we have the roots. Very good. Those are under the dirt, so we don't usually see them. Then we have what is this? A stem, a big stem. Very good. And I'm only going to put one of these on, but what is this? It's tricky because this is so shiny. 
a leaf. Very good. And at the very top, what do we have? A beautiful sunflower. In the middle, it's hard to see on the picture, but in the middle, those bl the blackness and the brown is all new flowers, new seeds that will be planted to grow new sunflowers. And here are sunflowers in a garden. So pretty. I don't know if you've ever planted sunflowers or picked sunflowers, but they are so fun to plant and they end up looking so beautiful. Here is the whole picture together. Flower on top, stem in the middle, leaves on the sides, and roots on the bottom. Boys and girls, I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Don't forget to do something fun for Fun Friday, like play outside or build something with your grown-ups. And tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day for a weekend. So boys and girls, have a fantastic Friday, and I will see you again on Monday. Goodbye.